News 5 investigates a cold case solved after 44 years. Tonight we spoke exclusively to an investigator and the family of the victim known for decades as Escatapa Jane Doe. Gabby Easterwood has been following the story for quite some time. Gabby, how is this case finally solved? Well, some new technology, Peter, and this year investigators were able to use her DNA to create a family tree and eventually identify her. Clara Birdlong's body was dumped in 1977 along Interstate 10 in Jackson County, Mississippi. Investigators believe she was murdered several months before the remains were found and she was killed by a notorious serial killer, Sam Little. 44 years after her brutal murder, we now know her name. Escatapa Jane Doe, identified by DNA as Clara Birdlong of Greenwood, Mississippi. Birdlong family was very small, so it's not that many of us. And Isaac Birdlong says his cousin Clara was a free spirit. While most of the family stayed rooted in the Mississippi Delta, Clara ventured out. She was, she, she was a jokester. She always had interesting stories to tell. So when we would go visit her, we just listened to her adventures about her travels and stuff. Those stories stopped when Isaac was 16. Clara hit the road, never to be heard from again. A drifter, the kind of woman Pascagoula Police's Lieutenant Darren Versaga says would have caught the eye of the U.S.'s most prolific serial killer. And that would be right up Sam Little's alley. Sam Little confessed to Clara's murder and 92 others before he died in a California prison in 2020. She absolutely went through horror, but just listening to Sam Little and his confessions on what he did and how he treated them. Little remembered gruesome details about the killing, but with so many victims, he couldn't recall Clara Birdlong's name. In fact, for decades, no one made the connection until Pascagoula police started digging into cold cases. And in doing all this background information and all this uh, finding these cases that nobody even knew existed, I uh, found the skeletal remains of who we now know as Clara Birdlong. Then the case began to break when Versaga put Little on the Mississippi coast in 1977, arrested in Pascagoula for a petty crime there. The same year, Clara was killed. But back then, a missing African-American woman just wasn't a priority for police. Especially in the 70s, especially in the South. If she had come over here somewhere, that you know, they were like, who are they going to call? Who is going to get up out of their chair and go look for an African-American woman in the 70s? Probably nobody. Times changed, so did technology and the tenacity of investigators. We gave her name back and it's probably one of the most fulfilling moments in law enforcement that I think I've ever experienced. I put murderers in jail, I put rapists in jail, uh, but this one, just some reason, I guess because she's so long forgotten. But not by Isaac and the few family members who remained back in Greenwood. There is a bit of sadness that um, that she had to go that way. It just resolved a lot of the questions we had, you know, so I could give you know everyone else the answer. Currently working with the Mississippi State Legislature on a new bill that could create a database of missing people and cold cases, so people like Clara will never be forgotten again. Live in studio, Gabby Easterwood, WKRG News 5.